Hello, my name is Toximate, and I'm the premier shiny hunter of Team Eon. One of the greatest challenges a shiny hunter like myself can embark on is the shiny living dex challenge. If you're unfamiliar, a living dex means that having a one of every Pokemon at every stage of evolution. My goal is to have a shiny of every Pokemon possible in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, we're finishing the bug type entries in our living dex with Thrisket, Masquerain, and Nimble. Alright, we back at it again at Krispy Kreme. I took an edible. There's a Thrisket outbreak down there. Let's hunt some bugs. I love bugs. Bugs are the best. I mean... They're neat. It's just I don't like when they're like, in my home. I have a few that I don't mind being in the home. Like, or actually no, I don't mind them unless it's of certain varieties. Being mosquitoes, flies, and cockroaches. A cockroacha. They gotta die. Here's the thing, like, I don't care what kind of bug it is, once it has entered my home, it is no longer a bug old friend. It is an enemy. They are at war with us. They declare war the second they're inside of my apartment. Uh, so, I can't bring my pet tarantula? Oh, please tell me you're joking. I, I am joking. Oh, thank God, because I would have said, oh, you're going to find somewhere else to live. <laughs> I would never let I you mean, bring like, that thing here. I would be okay with it if we had the room, which we most certainly do not. I'd just be afraid of it getting knocked over, and then we got a tarantula in the house. And then we'd have to either catch it, or we'd have to break Alita's heart and 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 send it to a farm. Yeah, it, it, it'll be happy there and have a lot send of fun. Send it bugs. to the farm! Okay, but like, here's the thing. Have either of y'all ever eaten bugs before? By mm. accident. Yeah, probably by accident, but none that I like explicitly like went to a to a store or restaurant and tried it. Like I can't think of anything that I have. Well, okay, okay. I can argue that crabs and lobsters are just sea insects. I yeah, mean, like they're just giant sea bugs. Yeah, that is that is true. Like shrimp and lobsters are considered bugs. We don't have the blue lobster sound anymore, god damn it. Oh I no. Put, I would have done it there. It's okay, I'll do my own uh, voiced rendition. Okay. It's so dumb. You know what? I'm pretty sure this outbreak is jank. Where like, I'm only getting like three spawns from the actual outbreak over there. But I think I'm just gonna wild hunt this thing without the outbreak. Okay, we've all. Oh god, I just realized that which Pokemon... Like, I knew what Pokemon you're looking for, but, like, I didn't but realize that... that yeah, like, how are you supposed to determine which is which? Um, try and murder them if I think they're sus. It's basically like playing Among Us. Oh, does Doggo want to come and sit over here? Hi, baby. Hey. Oh, are you a sweetheart? Are you being a sweet baby? Move my legs and get you your blankie. Come here. You want your blankie? Yeah, there you go. So as I told y'all before starting recording, I prepared a list of bug-related questions because this is a bug hunt. But like, I gotta ask y'all, if you had to be a bug, what bug would you be? And I think there is a correct answer here. I know the correct answer. Alita, you go ahead. This is not the correct answer, but I would say like a spider wolf. Or a wolf spider? Or yeah, wolf spider. Terrifying. Honestly, actually, some kind of spider is not like that bad of an answer because like at least you're pretty apex in your little food chain. Now, the correct answer is a bee. That is correct. Save the planet via B. Woo! Let's go, baby! <laughs> God, who gave her the soundboard? Who gave her the soundboard again? Bailiff, wacky pee pee. <laughs> Chaos. Oh, oh, I think that's it. Oh, I think that's it. Oh? Yeah, that's definitely it. That's definitely it. Okay, that was a lot more noticeable in the direct lighting. Oh, 
Ooh, oh nice. yeah. And Dragapult definitely. <laughs> Harbinger definitely just blocked the the shot there, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm happy that that showed up, um, because I hate hunting in the water. I hate it with a fiery passion. We're gonna quick ball this. Well, now we can head down to Area Zero and try and find ourselves a masquerade. So, uh, cool transition time. Woo! I'm almost... Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of Venomoth already, but I think once I get down to the river, it'll just be Masquerine. At the river. Oh. Nate, there's a Hondo Carvana here. Oh, hey, what do you know? That's a shiny Venomoth. Ha! I'm trying to find my way to the Masquerine. <laughs> okay, well, I'll take it. Either of you want a shiny Venomoth? Uh, I'll take it. Sold to the lady in the Snorlax hoodie. Bloody, that was like, what, like a minute later after getting the Surskit? Yeah, Surskit's still in our party. In fact, I need to get it out of there before it accidentally falls. Watch, now this Masquerade is going to take goddamn forever. So I have another bug question for all. Okay. You. What's your favorite bug type Pokemon? <laughs> Jesse, I already know yours, but this is an opportunity for you to rant about your baby. I'll let Alita go first, so that, like, I don't take well, I mean, the I went, spotlight. I mean, I went first last time, so you, you go ahead. The bug type is my favorite type, but my favorite bug type in general has got to be Wimpod or Golisopod. Like, Wimpod is just a cute little guy, a little dude, and I love him. And... It gets the Gyarados sort of thing, where it evolves and it becomes the most fearsome f***ing thing. And it, he's real- and Golisopod is just super f***ing badass. I love Golisopod. Like, a Fair Samurai enough. Isopod is, like, the coolest looking thing. Also, not gonna lie, like, Wimpod has a really good shiny. Also, yeah. that's the end of the sandwich, so I need to go make another sandwich. So, Alita, what's your favorite bug type? Scyther. Oh my god! That's super funny because my favorite bug type is Scizor. Yeah, no, Scyther. Also, Scyther. you're really big on Gen 1, I know, so I, I'm not surprised that Scyther I is mean, your preferred. Yeah, like, I'm more big on, like, Gen like Gen 1, 2, and 3, yeah. So, you prefer Scyther over Scizor? Yep. Any particular reason? Um. I like the I like the hand blades more versus the uh, clampers, the claws. Well, that's fair. Hello there. You're green. That is a super pretty shiny. Hold up. Y'all see that? I do. That is a beautiful shiny. That also I caught me way by like surprise. Masquerade well, shiny is very pretty. The face is orange. The inside circle of the wings is purple. That's super cool. Boink. Well, okay. That's cool. But we're gonna quick ball you. Hopefully you'll go in. And then, yeah, okay, it went in. And then we're going to do another cut here because I need to go and get a nimble outbreak because I'm tired of wild hunting already. I want an outbreak hunt. <laughs> so we got mask right now, and we'll be back when we get to the nimble outbreak. Woo! So we found the outbreak. We got the knockouts. Now we're just kind of picnic resetting and looking around us. I think this is the way to do it. I think this is the way to go. So I realized that during the Masquerade hunt, I was like very, very quiet and we didn't really talk a whole lot. I was just like, hey, like, that's okay. I'm a little low energy today. At least we got the shiny, right? And then I remembered, I took a fucking edible. I'm destroyed right now. <laughs> Get wrecked. 
So earlier I asked y'all what your favorite bug type Pokemon was. But like outside of the world of Pokemon, just what's your favorite bug? Do you have a favorite bug? Oh, that's a that's a tough question. You're gonna have to come back to me. I don't I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite bug, but I think the closest one I would have to say is like the tarantula. Why? Like... You were talking about a tarantula earlier, and you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't like it. Why are they so hairy? Why are you Why are you so full of skin? Like, hey, <laughs> you got me. You got me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just like. <laughs> What One psychopath is like, oh yes, I want to pet a fuzzy spider. When I want to pet something fuzzy, a spider is what comes to mind. Like, what? You know, Who does that? Who are you? Who are you? Actually, uh, you shouldn't pet tarantulas because their hairs are irritating. Like, they will straight up irritate your skin. So, I'm... Let me get this straight. People want to own something that is fuzzy and not touch it? Oh no, people touch it. Like, pe there are people that will actually pet their tarantulas. They just have to um, be careful so that it doesn't um, break out their skin. Wow, and shit. also make sure not to get bit. Yeah, that that is the important part. Wait, May, you were just saying people want to pet the hairy spider? Why? And then... And then you're like, they get a hairy spider and not want to pet it? Make up your mind, May. I mean, <laughs> I just, I don't understand the appeal of wanting a spider. Why do you want a spider as a pet? Because they're cool. They are cool. Like scorpions and snakes. I would love to have a pet snake. But all I'm saying is, I don't know why anyone would want to get a tarantula when they could have, like, I don't know, like, a dog or a cat or like, some kind of rodent. Why go for a common pet like a cat or a dog when you can have an exotic pet that uh, no one thinks about? Like, exotic pets, I swear, are just kind of a thing that's like, oh yeah, you've got a dog and a cat? <laughs> that's what dorms have. I it's have literally just a flex. A, it is kind of a flex, but like also, it, it would be cool to own a snake. Like, Well, I don't even and... consider snakes to be that exotic, unless it's like an exotic snake. Venomous snakes, it's literally like f***ing why. Why do you have a venomous snake? Do you want to die? Yeah, I wouldn't want that thing in my house. And then there's the people that, like, own tigers, and it's like, first of all, that's illegal. Second of all, what the f*** are you doing? Those things kill people. And third that, of all, that is illegal. <laughs> that is the point where it's literally just about showing off how rich and powerful you are. It's like, oh yeah, you're not supposed to have these things, and you have to pay like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get one from the wild. But I did it because that's chump change. And then there's literal Floridians. There's no one else that owns them. Alligators or crocodiles. Like I'm okay with you, like you know, getting familiar with your local reptiles and picking a favorite one out in the local bog. But like, don't take it home. Now, okay. Don't take the alligator home. Don't keep there it in the swimming pool. There is exactly one exotic pet, or quote-unquote exotic pet, that is completely okay and valid, and that is a raccoon. I f***ing love raccoons. Can you keep a raccoon as a pet? Um, I believe so. I, I think in some states there has to be, like, a... it's You have to have an exotic pet license. Jesse, do you want to get a pet raccoon whenever we buy our first house? Only if Lilo isn't still around. Wait a minute, we were talking about bugs. How did we start talking about raccoons? How did we get here? Where because, are my pants? Because we were talking about exotic pets because of tarantulas. Oh shit, you're right. Again, I'm blitzed right now. Why, like, I'm I'm wrecked right now. I'm just trying to find this gold little f***er. Oh my god, what would happen if you gave a raccoon an edible? That sounds like... A really cool science fair project. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I thought of shit raccoon like that when edible. I was in high school. I wish I thought of shit like that when I was in high school. You, you know the popular kids book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie? It's If You Give a Raccoon an Edible. Oh, yes! 
The last bug shiny of my living decks. Let's go! <laughs> God, Dragapult's tail really just covers the entire shiny sparkle, doesn't it? Oh man, of course it spawned behind me too, so I couldn't even see it like spawn in. I thought it was an item for a second. I was like, wait a minute, I see yellow. There wasn't an item there before. Well, okay. Let's quick all this and be done with it then. God, I... <laughs> it's currently like 4.30 p.m. and I'm already blitzed from an edible. What's the rest of my day gonna look like? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> Alrighty, so... Um... I forget what number I'm at. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I'm... I'm Editing me, editing me. Go ahead and put the number up on the screen. Blah, there it is. Woo! Look at look at how many shinies I've gotten so far, and I have that many more to go. Um, this is a nightmare. Okay, thank y'all for watching. Um, stay in school. Don't do drugs. Like the video. Subscribe if you're not already. We'll catch you later. Bye. 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 -bye. <laughs>